All right, welcome back. Um, we're going to start part two of this series of practice videos for the certification test for PowerPoint 2010 certification exam. We finished the first video. We covered numbers 1 through 18. Now we want to start with 19. 19 reads, move to slide 4, which is the animate slide. Add a custom bullet to the text lines. Make the bullet size 95% of text. So let's go to slide 4. This is our animate slide. We're going to select all of the information on the slide and we're going to add a custom bullet. So in the paragraph grouping, the down arrow beside the bullets, we're going to go to bullets and numbering to customize. And you pick whatever bullet you want. Uh, recently I used musical notes. I thought that was cute. And click OK. Under where it says size, percent of the text, that's where you type in 95. If you wanted to, we could even change the color. And just for fun of it, I'm just going to change the color of the musical notes and click OK. And there are my customized bullets. 20, indent the same bullet, slide 4, to 1 inch from the left. Change line spacing to double. So also in the paragraph grouping, we're going to click on the, the line spacing button and we're going to look at the line spacing options. Uh, it's already set to the left. We want to indent by directions 1 inch and we want to change the line spacing to double and click OK. 21 format the text on slide 4 to two columns. So while we have the text selected, also in the paragraph grouping, we're going to click the down arrow beside the column button and we're going to go to two columns. 22. Move slide 3, which is the plan your story slide. Insert a text box that reads, good planning is critical. Give the text box a black outline weight of four and a half points. Fill the text box with a yellow color. So let's go to slide three. This is the plan your story. We want to insert a text box. And it doesn't say where, so I'm just going to put it right there. Good planning is critical. And now we want to give the text box the shape styles. We want to give it a black outline. And we could, we could either go to a shape style, but we're going to do um, a black outline. And then the weight of the outline. We want to make sure it's four and a half points. I'm going to fill it with yellow. So now that ends the section for creating a slide presentation. We're working now with graphical and multimedia elements and we're starting with 23. Number 23 says move to slide 2. Insert a clip art image of a book. Size the clip art to 3 by 3, 3 inches by 3 inches. Change the color of the clip art to wash out. Put the clip art image behind the text on the slide. So let's move to slide 2. And we're going to find clip art. So we insert clip art. I want all media types and a book. I like this particular one. So I'm going to put it there. Now I want to rechange, reformat the height. So the quickest way to do that is to right click and I want it three inches by three inches. There it goes. <coughs> Change it to wash out. So we're going to look at some of the effects and make sure it's completely washed out. 
Look at all the different artistic effects. And with each one of them, it gives you an indicator as to what it is. Under the colors, this is where you can recolor and saturate, change the color tones completely. Um, you can change the image to black and white. Um, if you go under corrections, just you can lighten and darken and add the contrast. But we're just going to, under recolor, we're going to wash this out. And we're going to put the clip art behind the text on the slide. So we want that clip art to go behind that text. So we're just going to right click on it and tell it to send it backwards. Oh, didn't work. Or send it back. There we go. Now the picture is behind the text. 24. Move to slide 5. Click on the image. Give it a perspective shadow effect diagonal upper left change the picture style to beveled oval black so let's go to five we're going to select the image format perspective shadow effect diagonal upper left and then we're going to change the picture style to a beveled oval black on slide 3 hyperlink the text box we added to http www.google.com so on slide 3 this is the text box we added so select all the words in the text box and we're going to create a hyperlink. To create a hyperlink, go to insert and the links grouping, click hyperlink and we type in the address we want to hyperlink it to. And since this is already coming up, I'm just going to take that out and add Google in to save some time. Now let's just quickly check to make sure that works. and it absolutely does 26 on slide 12 select the winter image and set the color to transparent um, because yours may look a little bit different from mine on slide 12 I'm just going to choose either one and I just I'm just going to select this one just because and I want to add the set the color to transparent so in the picture tools, color, and I'm going to find the transparent one. That's wash out. Those are different temperatures. this one okay on slide 12 we're at number 26 select the winter image and set the color to transparent because I don't have the winter image we're just going to take out part of the color in this image so you can go to color go down to set transparent color and we're just going to take some color out of the middle you can um, take color out of any portion of the clip art that you choose 27 move to slide 6 remove the Excel slice of the graphic change the layout to text cycle alright so let's go to slide 6 we're going to remove this piece. In order to remove this piece of the graphic, you have to do it over here 
by pressing select in Excel and pressing delete. Notice how it automatically changes your smart art graphic. And we're going to change the layout of that smart art graphic to the text cycle. So layout and circle arrow. This is the text cycle. Move to slide 10. And we're done with that. We're going to close that out. Move to slide 10. Change the title of the slide, which is table, to a word art style gradient fill blue gray accent 6 inner shadow. So we're just going to select the word table. And we're going to apply the word art style. blue gray accent 6 inner shadow on slide 6 insert a video clip art format the video to soft edge oval picture style any sample videos that you may have you can do that um, you can go to video you can do a clip art video um, that's what I would recommend you do one of the clip art videos, just one of your choice. Bring it over and we're going to give it the soft edge oval picture style. And if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can and place it on your slide. And then do it in slideshow view and you can see that the video is actually moving. 29 on slide 6 and we just did that we inserted the video clip art that takes us to the end of this section with working with graphical and multimedia items now let's go to creating charts and tables and start with number 30 first of all we're going to move to slide 10 and we're going to stay right here this is the end of part two when we continue we'll continue with number 30.